Well, the experiment finally begins. Today's the day Israel opens up a handful of businesses across several sectors, including restaurants and cafes, hotels, stadiums, theaters, and even wedding venues. But there is a catch. Only green passport holders will be allowed to enter most facilities, meaning those who have received both doses of the COVID vaccine. Will it work? Hannah Rifkin reports. Israel is kicking off its green passport pilot program, and the prime minister was one of the first to enjoy the fruits of the country's reopening. The green passport restaurants coming back to life. We still have to watch, uh, you know, watch ourselves. We have to wear masks, keep the distances that uh, people require, but social distance. But we're, we're coming out of it, and there's not much more. Restaurants are permitted to open, but with specific guidelines. Only green pass holders can sit inside with a capacity of 100 people, and up to 100 non-pass holders are permitted for outdoor seating. Two meter distance is required between each table. We just have to have a few hundred thousand more people, especially 50-year-old jab, and we're going through the first phase. We're done. We'll be done. Not yet done, but we'll be done. Now, do you want a bite? Also, event venues are permitted to open for green pass holders with a limit of 300 people. Stadiums are also opening up for those with 10,000 seats. Up to 1,000 people are allowed in a closed space and up to 1,500 in an open space. A concert series already kicked off in Tel Aviv over the weekend, a first performance by Israeli performing artist Ivri Leader. <laughs> There will no longer be restrictions on Israelis wishing to leave the country, and those entering the country with a green passport are exempt from quarantine. But even though restrictions are being lifted today, some were impatient to return to normalcy, police still handing out fines over the weekend for illegal gatherings. Police overnight Friday and Saturday broke up an outdoor party in the Negev that was attended by roughly 600 people in violation of the government's health guidelines. But even with the excitement and confusion, Israelis are hopeful that the new green passport plan is a step in the right direction. I'm very excited that things will go back to normal, uh, but let's see how it works. Like, I'm not sure about all the vaccines and there will be citizens class A and class B, the one who was vaccinated and one who were not. So I hope things will get better soon. Hannah Rifkin, ILTV. And before we move on, let's take a look at the latest numbers. On Saturday, the health ministry recorded 1,923 new cases with an infection rate of 4.3%. There are 724 Israelis in serious condition with 210 on ventilators and the death toll is 5,861. 4.9 million Israelis have received their first COVID vaccine and 3.7 million have had both doses.